Okay, morning everybody. Sorry, a bit, a bit of a sinus problem right now, so excuse me while I just adjust my camera a little bit. Yeah. So I got my ALF box. This is the September box. I know it's October already, but yeah, usually you receive your ALF box in the early weeks of the following month. Because uh, they send out usually around the third week of the month. So they, I think they probably send out the international boxes first before they send the local ones. So, yep, this is my elf box and it's uh, a s October, it's not an October box, it's a September box, but it is themed for Halloween. So, sorry, but my table is a mess. <laughs> I just cleaned it up uh, recently, as you know, but uh, it's a mess again because I've been crafting. So, well, I guess that's what happens when you're a crafter. When you start making things, the, you know, the table gets a mess. Oh, excuse me while I blow my nose. Yeah, I sound like I have a flu, but um, it's just sinus problem. Excuse me about that. Okay, anyway, so let me just show you my else box. I got it yesterday. So... This is what's inside. As I said, it's uh, themed for Halloween. And here are the contents. Shaker oil, uh, pigment powders, a mold. Uh, this is a thinner type of mold compared to the heart shape one from the previous uh, month's box. And um, I haven't tried making the shaker from the previous month yet. Yeah, planning to of course. Then pigment powders. A trinket case, deco whip, glow in the dark, Halloween sequins, fabric, and metal accents. So let me just quickly go through what uh, I have here. So this month they packed it in really colorful packing peanuts. Yeah, it looks really colorful. So if I'm not wrong, this is the metallic accents. Oh no, this is a glitter. This is a glitter. Sorry, there's pearl pigment and iridescent. I think this is the pearl pigment because there's another one here. I'm not too sure which is iridescent and which is pearl. This looks like pearl. This looks like iridescent, yeah. Anyway, I love the, the little cards, so cute. The pumpkins, probably can use them for something else. So these are the pigment powders. This is the Halloween puffy uh, fabric stuff, I guess. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Um, this is the iridescent, no, this is the glow in the dark powder, yeah, it's pretty heavy, I think there are uh, two different colours, let me just check it out, yeah, it's pretty heavy, oh yeah, so I have to see what to do with this, I might mix it into, oh I'm not sure, I might use it with the glow in the dark, um, clay that I got from them. I haven't used it yet and I'm supposed to use it soon because I think the glow in the dark effect doesn't last very long. This is the Halloween um, trinkets. Hope you can see there's a spider web. Uh, looks like a haunted house or castle. Sorry, some interruption there. Um, pumpkin, a moon, I think a witch and a broom. Maybe a ghost. Not too sure. And a bat. Okay, so some of those things. And this is the shaker oil. Definitely going to try this out. The trinket box, which is pretty heavy. I think this is one of those uh, makeup boxes. Let me just have a look inside. Let's see if there's a mirror. I guess it's for deco. Yes, there's a... Not really a mirror. It's just a little trinket box, but it's really nice. I can tell it's going to tarnish. <laughs> this kind of things usually tarnish after a while, oxidizing or something like that. So, yep, that's the trinket box. This is the cat mold. It's not a very big mold. So we dropped the packing peanut, but I think it's really nice size. Can even fit into an ATC card. I'll be really, really interested in trying this out. Yes. So I'm going to see, they have got tons and tons of different patterns and uh, shapes. 
So I'm going to check out this one. If I really like it, I might get the others. There is the Deco Whip tips here. A ton of different tips. All these piping bag tips. There is the Deco Whip. Oh, very nice. It feels like mousse. Then I think uh, these are the Halloween sequins. And that's it. This sequence, um, this is a witch on a broom. And this one, which I can't really tell. A cat, black cat. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. Let me just open this up. So cute! I have a friend who's a cat lover. She's gonna love this. Uh, she, we don't celebrate Halloween here. I mean, there are people who they've been like, uh, how do you say, commercial activities being carried out by companies themed uh, on Halloween. But uh, we don't really have like treat or treats, trick and tr uh, Halloween kind of stuff. It's more for adults, not really for kids. So. Yeah, but this is really fun. This is really fun. So, I'm going to put this away. Just quickly show you some projects I've been up to. Um, uh, we've been trying to make flowers. So, uh, I've been trying out some fabric flowers. I haven't put a center in yet. I'm not sure what kind of center I want to put. Whether I want to put a button or something else. So, I mean, because I have some... I, I was digging through my... <laughs> clearing my stuff and and I found this okay now where did my needle go shucks ah oh boy I hope I didn't lose my needle yeah I left it somewhere I forgot to stick it back in the pin cushion I made so I had no pin cushion so I decided to use this make my myself one so I've been trying to make like um flowers out of the fabric. I'm not sure how it looks. I think it's okay. Very rustic looking I guess. So I had this fabric, uh, I think they're crack quarters I got from a um, Japanese online shop. I really love Japanese cotton. It's frays easily but I like the, the patterns and the texture of it. It's got this really rustic kind of country feel. So that was some of the things I was doing. I was also making some cards. Not really cards, envelopes. So I was making some of these little envelopes. Now these envelopes I got from our local Muji. Okay, so Muji is a Japan Japanese stationery shop. Not really a stationery shop. It's a Japanese stall that is called Brandless. But Muji is the brand. <laughs> but in Japanese it means Brandless. So they have these little mini envelopes, as you can see, the dimensions are here, 70 by 105 mm, which is about 7 by 10.5 cm. I'm not sure how much is that in um, inches because uh, we don't really do inch measurements here. We go my metric, as well as some of this. So these are the Darcy stamps I got from Not Too Shabby Shop. I finally decided to use them. They were so cute. So I've made this one with the um, you've got mail uh, stamp. Let me just see if I can find it and show you. Sorry, I need to blow my nose again. All right here it is. Sending you happy mail. Yeah. So I I've, I'm going to stamp stamp this here. I'm not sure if I'm going to emboss it. Maybe in white. I think it'll be nice. So. Yeah, so I stamped a couple of this and colored them up. I think they are really cute. I uh, plan to give this to someone. Somebody saw this when I posted on my Facebook. And she really loves it a lot. Uh, I'm a church member of mine. So actually my pastor's wife. <laughs> so I'm going to give her a set of these cards. Uh, not cards, envelopes. I keep calling them cards. Yeah, and I also stamped this one, which is also another Darcy stamp. I have this one, yes, the cupcake one, which is so cute. The rabbit and the chick 
This is actually really great for, um, I think, Easter. But it's so cute. I can use it for any other occasion. So I made a couple of this. And uh, I put in a little note card. They actually have these tiny little note cards that they sell as well in Muji. So I just put in a note card so you can write, anybody can write a note and put it inside this envelope and give it to someone. So, yep. So I just colored the headband and the beak. I left the chick and the cupcake alone. I'm wondering whether I should color the cupcake um, holder. It's so cute. Yeah, I might color that because I think it's really cute. So I got the bunny and the chick and I embossed in uh, platinum because my gold embossing powder is useless. It's, it doesn't emboss. So I've been using it for my resin instead. So I've got a couple of these cards, which are uh, envelopes, sorry, <laughs> which I find them so cute. I'm going to make more because I have got stacks of this. I couldn't resist buying them. They're so cute. I love craft envelopes. Strangely enough, I also love the smell of it. It's weird, I know. And this is how the uh, note card looks like. Not very expensive. I think um, if you consider it in terms of American uh, dollars, it's a par probably just about a little bit over a dollar. Maybe a dollar ten or dollar twenty. Yeah. So nice little note cards. Way smaller that they can totally fit inside. You can put, probably put other things inside, cash if you need to. Probably, what's that called? Um, gift cards? Yeah. So, I am planning to revive my Etsy shop soon, I hope. And I'm going to put all this up. If you have the stamp, of course, uh, you probably can't find the envelopes. If you would like, I can put the envelopes up for sale. Because these are really specific to this particular stationery, um, um, you know, brandless name shop. Um, they don't only sell stationery. They have food items, they have clothing, they have organization stuff. They have tons of things. Uh, but my favorite part is, of course, their stationery. I love the envelopes. They have got white ones as well. Let me just show you. So these are the white ones. These are the really big... Um, Regular size, uh, sorry, oh, why is it giving me an issue? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I couldn't focus, I have no idea why. So anyway, these are the normal type of, uh, I think this is the regular size envelopes, the one that can fit the, when you fold the A4 in half, I think so anyway. Uh, yeah, so anyway, you just can look at the, yeah, because um, apparently the envelopes use this cotton pulp. Okay, which that's interesting. Let me check out the other ones. I haven't, I really never really noticed. <laughs> this one doesn't say. The other one does. So I guess this one's just regular, you know, paper. Whereas the other one has a bit of cotton pulp. Which is also what is used, if I'm not wrong, in papers that I use for uh, letter press. Yeah. So anyway. Just wanted to show you this plus my else box and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye bye.